what's good? It's your boy Onyx here with another TV Tuesday. And since it's the fall television pretty much season, I'm going to give you, your favorite nerds, top 10 TV shows I'm looking forward to or have already started watching so far this fall. Number 10, we've got Minority Report on Fox. I only got two words to say about this show, Megan Good. As you've seen in my earlier review, which you could check out here on Going Full Nerd, I'm not really hyped up on a lot of TV shows based off of movies. But they did this one pretty good, and it's well worth a watch. So that's number 10, Minority Report on Fox. At number 9, we've got Blind Spot on NBC. Jamie Alexander, Lady Sif from the Thor movies, and from Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hey, she plays an amnesiatic woman found in the middle of Times Square, covered from neck down in tattoos, and each tattoo holds a mystery. Not really into a lot of big drama shows, but this one has a great mix of drama, action, and mystery that'll keep you coming back each week. And it's nice to know that they just ordered nine more scripts for this show, because it's looking real damn good. Coming in at number eight is another NBC show, Heroes Reborn. Heroes Reborn, I was kind of skeptical because the last, the last uh, season of Heroes was horrible. I really didn't like the third season, but with this reboot or continuation, revisiting what the X-Men movies could have been or could have been on television. Heroes Reborn, check that out on NBC. Now, coming in at number seven, it's kind of a tie, and that's Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and its mid-season replacement, Marvel's Agent Carter. I love it only because we've got the Captain America Civil War movie getting ready to come out later this year, earlier next year. <laughs> I was getting ready to say later this year, but what happens is this. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. ends up being a good third, second screen companion to the movies, and it also gives us some good hints, lead-ins, and Easter eggs highlighting a lot of the Marvel comic book characters and some of the TV history that we love so much with those characters. Number six is a non-network television property called Super Mansion. It's an animated feature about superheroes that have gotten old, and I'll be honest, it seems a little crazy. Stop motion style animation, much like your robot chicken type stuff, but with a little comedic twist. Check out Super Mansion, which came in at number six on Crackle. Wow, Crackle, Crackle. Let me say that one, Crackle. Coming in at number five is Arrow. Anybody that follows me knows I really don't watch Arrow and I'm so far behind. But because of other shows that have come on, which we're going to address later on in this countdown, I got to go back and check it out. Plus, the mid-season, uh, the off-season summer hype saying that he's going to actually become Green Arrow is going to make this show skyrocket along with the other DC Universe superheroes that kind of slide their way across the screen. Coming in at number four is CBS's foray into the superhero genre with Supergirl. Yes, they kind of leaked the pilot episode online earlier this year, but I will tell you, I purposely skipped it, though I did listen to the fan reaction, and Supergirl is looking like it's going to be on fire, so just check that out. Now, I don't like the way some of the character models look. Meaning, they kind of released a picture of Red Tornado. Eh, I don't know. But as long as the story is tight, you could get past that. And hopefully the effects are on point to make us believe a woman can fly on TV. Much less like we did a man can fly in the old school Superman movies. Rest in peace, Christopher Reed. Hey, we also got coming in at number three. This is kind of a cult classic, fan classic for me. Ash versus the Evil Dead on Stars. That's right. 
Ash vs. the Evil Dead, the highly popular cult film, The Evil Dead, is basically going back to its roots in an episodic, small little thing that they're doing on Stars, where we get our titular hero, Ash, fighting against the Evil Dead once again. Especially with all the zombie stuff going on, I could deal with a little comedy, and Ash was always good at bringing the comedy and horror together in one nice, neat little package. So check out Ash vs. Evil Dead on Stars. Now, let's get to the top two. And the top two shows are dominated. Let me say that again. Dominated by DC Comics and Warner Brothers. Number two, can't wait for Legends of Tomorrow. Anything that I can see that brings in Firestorm, The Atom, White Canary, Captain Cold, Heat Wave, Hawk Girl, Hawk Man, all these different DC comic superheroes bringing them to life. For me, a fan, a longtime fan of comic books, that's going to be hot. And to take characters which some of you may think are pretty obscure, like Rip Hunter. Yes, Rip Hunter. We'll talk about that another time. This is going to be a pretty damn good show, especially if they follow the hype and follow the storylines and the basic plot and storytelling that they do on Arrow and that they do on our number one choice for TV shows that I'm anticipating this fall, and that's The Flash. Whoa. With a freshman season coming in on season two, The Flash is the superhero show to be. Yes, it is the superhero show to be. I'll be honest, Grant Gustin, Props to you, man. I at first was real skeptical of The Flash on television, and it really kind of upsets me that they're not having this guy play Flash in the movie. But hey, this is what dreams were made of for a longtime comic book fan and a longtime nerd. Hey, let's go give special um, recognition to a couple of shows I love. Let's go to Adult Swim with The Adventures of Rick and Morty. Hey, the last episode had me just all hyped up. I mean, when you can go on a robotic power suit killing spree playing Tony, 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 feel good in the background, that's a cartoon that adults need to check out. So, hey, that's your boy Onyx with the top 10 shows that I'm looking forward to or kind of peeping out already on my channel, Going Full Nerd. If you got your top 10 shows, what are they? Hit them in the comments below. Hit like with the video and subscribe. That's what I'm talking about. And I will check you guys out next time on Going Full Nerd.